So now that we have sketched out our low fidelity wireframes, next we're going to move on to the mid fidelity wireframes. So as you can see, I'm here back in Illustrator CC again. I've already gone through and added templates for uh, a few of the pages. So what we're going to do is start filling out the layout for our mid fidelity wireframes. So I'm going to jump back into my wireframe kit, which if you have not gotten yet, it is available with the course bundle at mckinseychild.me slash courses. So to start, I'm going to grab a navigation for each page. So I'm going to go in under the navigations and uh, this top one looks pretty good. So I'm just going to select this one with the rectangular logo um, and let's paste that in. And if we center that like so, uh, I'm just going to select this little line and I'm going to hold alt and extend it to each of the edges. So that looks pretty good. So on the home page, I want to have a little about section. I'm thinking it's going to be three columns, a little about section, a previous or recent posts and recent projects. So how can we represent the recent posts? Let's see, let's go over to the text. Yeah, let's grab one of the text with headers. Let's just grab this little one right here. Actually, no, for the about section, we'll probably need a bit more content. Let's just grab this big one, paste that in. We may need to shrink it down, most likely. Let's just go ahead and do that. All right, and then we want to have a uh, recent article and recent project. Cool, so the articles are gonna be a bit different. I'm going, I say we should have a title for each of these little sections, maybe about writing and projects, something like that. Um, then the about section will just be a paragraphs. Let me, Delete a few of these to make it look like content breaks. That looks good. All right, so for the recent projects, we'll want a title for each. Let me ungroup these, right click, ungroup. So if we have a title, let's just make it a bit smaller. Um, then the title of the article and also what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make it a little bigger and then we would want the date or um, yeah, probably the date for each article. I'm going to change the color to match this just to show that's a heading or not a heading, a, uh, a link instead of just regular paragraph. And we'll do say three of those and then we will add a link to uh, view all of the There we go. Uh, let's change the length of those. That looks pretty good. Um, I'm not liking how these are the same. Maybe it's the color. Let's change it back to the light gray. That looks better. So the size differentiates that it's a, a link. All right, so I'm just going to delete this and I'll do the same for the projects. So now we have a little about section. I'm gonna make it a bit longer. Let's copy this bottom part and duplicate it. There we go. So now we have about uh, recent articles and recent projects. Cool. Let me space it out a bit more. Looks good. Now the last thing is a footer. So I'm going to copy this line from the header bring it down here. And then all we really want for the footer is, oops, let me copy one of these lines, hit A, Command C and Command V to paste it. We'll use that for the copyright. And then uh, I also think we should have social icons. So let's copy that and just make little dots to represent the various icons. Cool. That looks 
pretty good. So from here, they'll be able to click to the articles page or to an article, a specific article, the article show page. So let's uh, see what the articles index page would look like. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this navigation and paste it over. There we go. That looks good. So the navigation will be the same throughout the various pages. So I'll actually just duplicate those now. And here we go. Okay. So the articles, let me copy the text. So we have something to work with. Um, I know let's copy this line. Let's make a title for this page. So I'm going to copy this. And this will say something like um, maybe just articles or maybe stuff I've written or thoughts or something like that. And then um, how are we going to lay out the links for this page? Hmm. So I like the idea. Maybe we could do it centered. So maybe we should do a title or the date, the title, and then a little divider. So what if we just did something super small? Like so between each article. Let me extend this template down. Uh, what I did there is hit A, the A key, to grab the direct select tool. Uh, I selected those bottom anchor points. Right, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this, uh, make sure it's spaced evenly. And I'm going to paste it, and then I'm going to hit Command D to duplicate what I did a few times. And let's make it a bit more realistic to change the heading sizes because not all of them will be exactly the same. Cool, that looks good. I do like the idea of just having it super clean, uh, super focused on the content. At some point, we'll get overrun with articles, so we would need uh, pagination. So let's go over to, where's that? Here we go, the pagination. I'll just uh, select this middle one copy and paste that in and let's just put it down at the bottom shrink it down a bit that looks good and let's copy the footer as well cool and I will drag this template back up Beautiful. So honestly, I don't think the projects will be any different. Um, all we really need is the name of the project, the date we created it, um, and then a link to the show. Or the title would be the link to the project show. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, delete this one and select all of this. And what we'll do is hit uh, option V and I'm going to hit shift and we'll just paste it over. So that's easy enough. We'll have a title. The title will change to say articles or I mean projects. Whoops. There we go. Now the contact page will be a bit different. Let's go over to the inputs. So for the contact, we'll just need, want to grab their name, email, and the message. So I'll just grab uh, this input and the text area input. Let's paste those in, shrink it down a bit. So we'd want two of these, one for the name, one for the email, and another for the text area. Let me extend these a bit. Whoa. And let's center it. Beautiful. Now button for the submit. 
Let's grab a square button with the text in there. And shrink it down a bit to match. Perfect. Let's make sure it's spaced evenly. That looks better. Cool. So um, the layout's pretty simple. What about the uh, article show page? So I'm going to copy, actually, I'll just copy the template and the name. Let's bring it down here. Actually, we need the header in there as well. Okay, last try. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so article uh, show page. Then we'll have the navigation. Let's uh, grab the text. All right, so if you click on that, you'll go to article show. We'll have the date um, and then the title of the article and uh, we'll have a little divider. And then from here, let's grab some text. So let's just grab all of this. Oops, didn't mean to grab that middle part. So the title sh will be centered to differentiate it and then all the other content will be left justified. That looks good. Let's delete it so it's not so long. Um, and then other than that, we'd want share buttons and comments. So let's look at, I'm not sure I have share buttons, but we could get something to represent it. No, let's just make something of our own. I'm going to grab this divider because I like the idea of breaking up the content uh, with this little line. So what we'll do, let me delete those. Let's center this one to make it a bit different than the others. And then let's just grab a ellipse tool to represent the share buttons. And let's make three of them and then center. So we'll have like Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. And then this will be the title and say share. Then let's break up it again. And next, let's have uh, comments. So that's, uh, I'm just going to select this. Uh, it's already going to be styled since we are going to be using discuss for the comments, but uh, this will represent it well enough. So let's uh, shrink this down a bit to match the spacing we have above. Oops. Right, and I'm going to move this off the side and then extend this down a little bit. Perfect. Beautiful. So this, this layout makes sense to me. We'd have, um, we'd have the titles centered. Um, all we are going to show is the date and the title of the article and the projects. Uh, if you click on the title, it would take you to the show page and then we uh, carry out the centered um, uh, styling for the uh, article show page. And then we'd have the actual content, some share links, and then the comments. So this looks pretty good. The project show would be a bit different because we don't need quite all of this. Let me copy that over. So let's keep this um, and then let's get rid of this stuff. I don't think we need the share or really the comments, but what we'll want is the date, title, and the description of it. And then 
let's also add a button because we're going to have a link to let's center that we're going to have a link that goes to uh, what you've built for example one of my projects would be unicast so i would have a link that goes to unicast so people can go uh, check it out for themselves so the last thing i'll do let me zoom out a bit Just bring up the template a bit. That looks good. And let's change this to projects. Cool. So we have the contact page, articles and projects done, the home done, and the show page is done. Awesome. This will give us something back or to refer back to when we um, start designing the actual pages. We'll start with the homepage in the next video.